Scorpio cross-referenced all the data Havoc Squad and Kaleo stole from Zakul. When we compared the enemy's comm logs to the Spire maps, we found something unexpected. There's a hyperwave relay station hidden 10,000 meters beneath the Spire. It's the only source of Gemini frequency transmissions to and from the Eternal Throne. I thought the Throne controlled the Eternal Fleet. Broadcasting a signal to thousands of ships across the galaxy takes tremendous energy. The relay station's powered by 200 reactors tapping directly into Sekul's planetary core. That relay station is our key to the Gemini frequency. If we can decrypt it, we'll eavesdrop on the enemy and learn his plans. Think bigger, Lana. We could send fake orders, have Arkan's own warships blast him off the throne. Why stop there? When the fleet's under your control, there's nothing you couldn't do with it. You'll never get near that relay station. It's ten kilometers underground and defended by more safeguards than we can count. Well, it's a good thing our data reveals every security measure in the way, and how to defeat them. A strike team can disable the defenses right under Arkan's nose, but only if we send it in now. Our intel's turning stale as we speak. Kaleo and Major Jorgen are already on Zakul. They're in position to clear the commander a path directly to the relay station. We are not sending that terrorist. She's done enough to my world. Avic Squad was made for this op. We have enough dead night to turn that relay station into a crater. Cut the head off the serpent. Throw the fleet into chaos. You're trusting the fate of the galaxy to a gang of grenade-happy bucketheads? We're only getting one shot at this. Lucky for you, one shot is all I need. Destroying that relay station is a bonehead play. Send me, and you'll control the Gemini frequency. The idea has potential, and she's an experienced infiltrator who survived on Zakul for years. She bombed my people. Never again. Destroying the relay station is a last resort, but if things go wrong, I need someone who can get creative. That's Kaleo. She's like a rancor in a glass factory. This is a mistake. Those are my orders. They're not open to debate. Your job is to keep Arkan away from us. I'm already moving. Be seeing you. You can't please everyone. But it may be prudent to consult Valkorion. He built the Spire. He may tell you how to invade it. Valkorion, we need to talk. Talking is your greatest talent. It is time I taught you when to listen. You took my power, and now come for my secrets. But you have not earned them. Your help is worthless if I can't stop Arkan's fleet. Show me how to do that. I am not your servant. And you have trifled with my patience for the last time. Lana, come in. Something happened. I need your help. Your friends cannot hear you. I 
I don't have time for your insanity. I have a mission on Zakul. You may still go, if you survive. You have forgotten what it means to face death alone. I will remind you. You think secrets grant power, that striking from the shadows will be enough. You are wrong. Until you embrace your full potential, you will only be a pawn of fate, never its master. I follow my own path, Falkorian. Not yours. You truly believe that? How pathetic. The future is not a river to carry us. It is the ocean in which we drown if we are not prepared. You have two destinies, Outlander. In one, you defeat Arkham, claim the Eternal Throne, and remake the galaxy. In the other, you die alone, unmourned and forgotten. I brought you here to taste that defeat. Pitiful. Why did I ever believe you could change anything? You want me dead? If that's what it takes to get rid of you, do it. I will not gift you that release. Not yet. This was a fraction of the pain my children can inflict. If you do not finish your training, become something greater, you will feel the full weight of their rage. Imperial intelligence prepared me for anything, and I haven't lost my edge. You do not perceive the path ahead, even when it is obvious. Let that be your first lesson. I cannot stay to protect you any longer. There are matters to which I must attend, but I will leave you with a final token of my favor. Fulfill your destiny, and I promise to return. I've had enough of your threats. I never wanted this in the first place. You can stay gone. I hope this is not the end of our journey. And one day, so will you. Cheer up, big brother. You're making me sad. Father won't face me himself. He's punishing you for stealing his chair. He isn't angry. Father never feels anything. Not even when I... when Vexen died. He was a good brother. Brought me gifts from all the worlds he conquered. I freed you from father's control. I hope that earned your support. My loyalties lie here, Arkan. Always.
Now what? I've waited for you a long time. Welcome to my home, Outlander. Jedi Master Satil Shan. When Valkorion told me to finish my training, he... He meant with you. You're asking the wrong person. Yes, I'm going to offer a meal. Stop rushing me. You survived an ordeal. Come. Sit. There's food. Don't take this personally, but you've gotten... strange. I think we both have. Many things changed while you slept in Carbonite. I led the fight to save the Republic from Zakul. Nothing prepared me to face that enemy. I failed. Again. And again. This camp isn't new. You've been on Odessan for a while. When the Republic surrendered to Arkan, I gave myself to the will of the Force. I left the core worlds and found this planet. We've been here for years, waiting. The will of the Force. You left the galaxy to be conquered by Arkan. Many confuse reaction for taking control. But there is power in stillness. We sensed your awakening on Zakul. Felt the presence of our old enemy guiding you. We witnessed the victories and defeats leading you here. When we found you in that clearing, we faced a choice. Bring you here. Or end you there. It's a little dark for a Jedi. I assume your training stopped you from killing me. We felt something we'd lost for a long time. Hope. You've changed in ways we still don't understand. Whatever his reasons, Valkorion has opened you to powers and a destiny, far beyond the horizon of your old life. You have much to learn. Follow us. Seek the answers throughout the valley. You will know when you find them. On Odessan, light and dark exist in perfect balance, forming a nexus in the Force. There is another world like it, Zakul. Arkan and his knights learn to use the Force in a different way from Jedi and Sith. It's why we couldn't truly defeat them. I faced plenty of warriors from Zakul. They fell the same as everyone else. Don't confuse them with Arkan. And his sister is another problem entirely. Jedi approach the Force as a companion, and Sith try to enslave it. But Arkan's knights believe the Force is their reward for serving an ideal. They swear their lives to the Eternal Emperor. The more they honor his commandments, the greater their power. The knights obey their master without question, sacrificing everything for his triumph. Devotion makes them strong. You must become stronger. The Knights of Zakul are slaves to the Eternal Emperor. I will never be like them. Those who do not bend, break. Darth Ma. Valkorion destroyed my flesh, but not my reason for being. I saw that man die five years ago. What is this, Jedi? A hologram? The Force is more powerful than death. You will learn. After my defeat, I sought an ally to make things right again. But only one in all the galaxy was my equal. 
We met on this world. We argued, explored, and found an understanding. We now pass that knowledge to you. I can't decide what's worse. That you went soft or Satil fell to the dark side. If our roles were reversed, I'd feel the same doubt. No one is more surprised than I am to be here, in this moment. But I trust the will of the Force. We do not offer empty platitudes. We do not promise easy victory. All we ask is that you listen with an open mind, and learn from our failures. To forge the future, you must first break with the past. Victory over Arkham requires new perspectives. And new weapons. Follow the will of the Force into the wilderness beyond this camp. Find what we left for you, and meet us in the cave. I believe in this. I fought Arkan's sister. Valen was right here. No. That was merely a warning, a vision. You do not use the Force, but Valkorion's power lets you glimpse through it. Heed what you saw. Behind Arkan stands Valen, and behind her, many others. They will all try to stop you. The weapon you wield was built for a different war, a different enemy. It no longer serves you. It must change, as you have. The devices I found out there, I can build a new weapon with them. Much more than that. A projection of your will. Wield it wisely, and you will unite the stars beneath your own banner. We offer to add our strength to yours, but you must be the guiding hand. Focus the power, and decide what form it takes. I'm ready when you are. There's no limit I can't surpass. It's done. That weapon is part of you now. The next time you face Arkan in battle, he will not be ready for it. But violence can only destroy. It doesn't inspire others to greatness, and it can never rebuild. Only a leader can do that. I once thought it enough to be the unstoppable force between my people and the enemy. I faced Valkurian and refused to bend. That choice broke me and doomed the worlds I sought to defend. I sent Jedi to fight an enemy I didn't understand, because I believed in the justness of my cause. Those deaths still haunt me. We know what it means to fail those who counted on us. We would spare you that pain. I've been a leader before. I know what it takes to win a war. Imperial intelligence taught you how to manipulate others from the shadows. But you cannot rule that way forever. Leading this alliance is unlike anything you have done before. 
Directing the war effort is a mere fraction of the burden you must bear. You must not only know when to fight, but when to retreat, or even to make peace with your foe. There is an oasis not far from this cave. Your final lesson waits there. You killed her children. She will devour you as revenge. What hope do you have to escape such raw fury? You created peace from a violent confrontation. Impressive. Some believe you are destined to walk this path. Others think you make the choices that decide their fates. Your alliance will collapse if you do not know yourself and the ideal you serve. Do you understand? Zakul's just as childish and confused as the Republic. The Empire is my home, and Arkan isn't taking it away from me. Your way is clear. And so is ours. Do you feel it, Mar? The Force draws us elsewhere. The exile on Odyssey is over. A new path is opened thanks to you. Our duty is to follow it. Nothing's more important than staying to help me defeat Arkan. Our time has passed. This is your war to fight. Trust in the path ahead. The Alliance awaits its commander. Farewell. Sub-level 4 open. No guards. <laughs> so close to a new kill record. We should have cancelled her mission when the commander disappeared. She's unstable. She's ahead of schedule, and the casualties are acceptable. So glad to have your support. The relay station is only three levels away. Be prepared to slice the Gemini frequency the moment you're inside. It's not too late for Havoc Squad to finish this off right. Demolish the whole facility. Over your dead body. Or yours. Let's not be picky. I sent Kaleo on this mission for a reason. Let her work. Where the blazes have you been? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. I thought we were past keeping secrets from each other. Blast it. Sky troopers. At least a dozen. Almost ran right into them. Don't panic. Maybe they didn't see you. If they did, things are about to get excited. Kaleo, come in. Come in. No signal. We need a contingency plan. If they capture her, turn her against us? I warned you this would happen. We're going in. Stand down. We're not doing anything until we know more. It's not your call. You abandoned your post. Now I have to clean up the mess. 